And let's go to Sick Call right now. We'll call it Sick Call. I know that's on WKAC. Been there for like since Ever. the 50s, since Frank was 40. Uh, <laughs> let's get over to the, let's hit that green light right now. If you got somebody ailing, even if your pets are ailing, Mark. Speaking of pets, we found a lost dog, didn't we, Zach? Tell me. Hit yeah, that green yeah. light. Yeah, my friend, uh, it's Clint Legg's sister-in-law, Shannon Campbell. Her dog disappeared out at West Limestone. She actually saw the vehicle. She was trying to get the dog to come back into the house. The vehicle loaded the dog up and took off with it. This was last week. Uh -huh. And I saw yesterday where the Limestone County Sheriff's Department put it on their Facebook page. She found it later this afternoon. Somebody had found it. It was tied up at Preston's right, right down the road. Really? So Maggie is back home with her mama. So well, that's on the front page of the paper today, dogs. too. Yeah, and okay. apparently there's been some other people's dogs that have been coming up missing, too. So. Dog gone. Yeah, it says Limestone County dog stolen from its home. Western Island was returned. Mm, good. So. Well, they actually returned. Like I said, luckily a woman found it Brad tied up next Golson. at Preston. <laughs> Brad, I was just trying to see if you was awake in the back. I was just trying to get you to show the dog. I've held it up about five times here. I was just trying to see if you had it. <laughs> He's sleeping back there. He can't keep up with me. I was sleeping. Right, well, who's ailing, Zach? Well, my sister, Camilla, good news. She got to come Wait home. Wait a minute, there's the dog. <laughs> okay. Them Auburn people can't stay in with me this morning, bright and early. He's coming right, black. My sister, Camilla, she got to come home yesterday. You know, she appreciated all the prayers. My buddy Richard Johnson mentioned his mama, Patsy. She's doing better in facility in Nashville right now. And my buddy Lee Malone, his mother, Adeline, is not doing well at all. And they appreciate prayers Aww. for the family. So See, keep them in your prayers. Zach, the only people you talk about being six, your own bunch. Well, nobody's emailed me. <laughs> Email me at bamazack at gmail dot com, and you I want a shout out. out. I'm Let on us Facebook know. at Zach Green, Twitter at Bama Zach. Well, why don't See, you now, do nice things, things like ha add happy birthdays to that? Or yeah, you can. Well, I got some friends today that had birthdays. But <laughs> I mean, friends, relatives you got, Zach. My buddy Philip Michael, yeah, he had a birthday today. Wes Neighbors, former Alabama center. Yeah. 97 7 the zone. He's birthday today. Happy birthday, Wes. Right. Well, let me change subjects right quick. All right. There's an article on Associated Press. We're all born and raised in Alabama, right? Except for no, you. Born. Chicago. But yeah. you wished you'd been born in Alabama. Well, no. It yeah, doesn't matter to me. For the fourth consecutive yeah, okay. year, Mark Moody, Alabama ranks among the most miserable states in the nation. I saw. Oh, based yeah. on factors such as access to health care, obesity rates, and work environment. Unhappy. Healthway and consulting Gallup polls said across the United States, using thousands of interviews, it says that we're one of the last. The top five happiest states in order are North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska, Minnesota, and Montana. Now, let me ask y'all one question that all five of them have in common. Ain't it cold there? Cold, yes. It's cold. Ain't it real cold there? Well, maybe right. you have winter, to... winter, yes. Maybe they, they snuggle more, so they're happier. Yeah. I beg to it. differ with whoever did that survey and never too. been here before. That's what is wrong with this great... Why? Who, who took this survey and said they were miserable? I would be miserable. You know what I got worth, y'all? Move. That's right. <laughs> Hey, I ain't man. never lived in another state but Alabama, so I love it. I, I hardly ever been out of state Alabama. I lived in Michigan when I was in elementary school. You like it? Go Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Matthew, have you ever lived out of Alabama? Oh. I lived in you, Tennessee through college and, and stuff. So. Well, that's like Alabama. Yeah, it's close enough. So. Yeah. I didn't but know where they, they were, were on. They here. were number eight. <laughs> were, were they? Eight? Oh. Were they? But, I mean, what's wrong with the – we got a fantastic football team. Uh -huh. Somebody had looked Roll at the survey. Jamie, you know, we do have a well kept secret here, yeah. and the rest of the world really don't need to know about it because they, oh. well, they might want to buy some houses. They might come here. So, Mark, you know, I'm well, just trying to look out for your catch. business. Catch yeah. there. You just, uh, let me hit catch. Zach again. Let's get some words of wisdom <clears throat> this morning. Yeah. Let's hit that green light. Then I got something else. We'll go to a break here on our first, our second break of the day. Mm -hmm. Cooper and Company Live. Let's go to this. <laughs> Excuse me. You need that high link? <laughs> yeah. You are never too busy to take time out of your day for those who matter most. I you can always you make time. Do what? I didn't hear that. <laughs> you are never too busy to take time out of your day for those who matter most. You can always make time. Some people act like they're busy. I got, hey, speaking of time, I got a lot of time for sale. <laughs> it's kind of like a timeshare. You want to share some of these commercials up here with me? Come on, I got plenty. Okay, back to you, Zach. Remember, sometimes the smallest things in life have the biggest meaning. Really? Duh. Sure does. <laughs> is that it? Well, looks like it is, Jamie. I got one more. I got one more. All right. Colossians 3, 23-24. Whatever you do, work hard, heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that the Lord, you, you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. 
And what is that Son of God movie about? Jesus. Is your name Jesus? Jesus? <laughs> I think about Jesus. All right, good. He comes out ding, today. Ding, ding, ding. I get right, that story. How about that? All right, here's a story I thought, Mark, it was kind of unusual. I've had some weird ones on this week, but yes, I'm trying to be good today. So i got church members going to be in a little bit. Oh. So I'm going to so be that my best good. behavior. So I'm going to get this out of the way before we get here. Wow. Blind woman sues nudist camp community for banning her overweight service dog. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Blind woman, 43 year old woman, legally blind, has a guide dog. She's lived at the nudist county, uh, Matthew, you may have heard of it, Paradise Lake Resort. No. Sorry, I hadn't heard of that one. <laughs> In Florida. <laughs> she's suing the resort association, claiming she's being harassed because her dog exceeds the community's 25 pound limit. She said the resort knew about her dog size when they approved her application. Nudity, Mark, is an option at the colony. She sometimes gets naked when her children aren't around. Well, I hope so when the children aren't around. Now, looking around this room, ma'am, no offense. <laughs> but I know the rest of them. Have you ever been to a nudist camp? No. Well, I have. I'm the only one amongst us who's ever gotten naked among strangers. Is that correct? Yes. You, right. You'll be the only one, too. Well, uh, I just... Is that correct? So I have not experience. Not Depends on how long... Uh, <laughs> Do what? We're not going there. <laughs> Shh, we can't tell All right. All right. Service, I mean, service dog owner sues nudist. Well, she can't see it anyway. So why is she in the yeah, house? There. If you're blind, why are you at a nudist camp? But Frank? Uh. <laughs> if you're blind, why would you live at a nudist camp? Well, she lives there. Camp if you're blind. Right. There you go. Free Frank's even got words of wisdom. <laughs> the only time I ever saw a nude beach, those people need to go home. They need to cover That's the up. same way it was at the nudist camp I went to. I mean, it ain't a bunch of blondes out there playing no, volleyball. No, no, Let me no, just no, put no, it that no, way. No, no, no. All uh, right, let's take a yeah, break. Thank nice. you, Zach. We're going to talk more well, in just a second. We've got Chili Challenge. Don't forget, Chili Challenge starts tonight at 6, and then it'll run. Uh, it's a half-hour special. Thank all you folks for sponsoring that. Matthew, Such Mark, thing. all you guys yeah. like that. Every time I look at y'all, I say, Matthew, Luke? Mark, I think I'm doing Where's a bit of this Luke? morning. Huh? Luke? Luke and John didn't show up this morning. Yeah. <laughs> we, we may have somebody else come in before it's over with. All right, let's take a break. You're watching Cooper and Company live on a Friday morning edition. Y'all, oh, wait a minute. Who? Oh. Little Dusty Macklemore's walked in. I gotta, you know, we gotta pause, but I'm gonna take a break first. Y'all, <laughs> hang on.